Good morning, our viewers. It is the sixth day of February 2024, and once more we've come to sit at the feet of Jesus. Today we're going to see how studying a Bible or having a Bible really helped a man that was going to die. So God, when we read his word or have his word available in our lives, can be a guide or a safety. A God can inspire people and they can have safety for us. Now, the Bible and freedom is the title of our morning devotion. John chapter 8, the verses 31 to 32. And it says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, and you, and you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Now, Henry Weldner, at the graduation ceremony, graduation ceremony of the Faculty of Theology in France, happened to be around. He was a cheerful, very courageous man and fun. And he happened to share us with his experience. He was, he formed a group and this group was trying to help the Jews that were persecuted by the Germanese. So he was uh, making routes of escape, of the Jews escape. Now he was trying to ex escape too. So he was trying to find his way from Spain to France and later maybe join Britain where the presence or the effectiveness of the Germanese would not attack him because he had helped the Jews escape he was on want Germanese were persecuting the Jews so Henry was on hunt because he had made the Jews escape however during his stay in France as he was with his friend he was sent a message that he was wanted. Unfortunately, he was detained and imprisoned with another man. His and as they were in prison, they were stuck. And it could take a little time before they would be executed or killed because of the kindness they had shown to the Jews. They had collaborated with the Jews and the Jews were, uh, were wanted and they were going to be killed. So Henry, as he was there, there came two soldiers. But when they entered the prisons, among the requirements was to take off their clothes. And their clothes were kept somewhere. So a certain gentleman, this was a soldier that was meant to take them as custody, who was responsible about them, found a Bible in the pocket of Henry. And when he came into contact with them, he asked them about their religious faith. And Henry told him he was an Adventist and he read the Bible. So this soldier was so happy he said he was a Catholic, but he had once stayed with Christians who read the Bible. So he had admired their character. And so he was so surprised that he had come into contact with another person who was reading the Bible. And that was Henry. So finally, the soldier who was touched by the presence of the Bible in the pocket of Henry, in Henry's jacket or coat, came and told him they were supposed to be executed in just a short time, short time. And he was trying to ask how he could help them out in the trouble they were going to face. Now Henry told him that the only way he would help them accept was to extend them to the mezzanine of the building, mezzanine of the building. From there, they could 
get access to the window, the mezzanine, and they could get access of the window and escape. And due to the fact that the man found the Bible in this gentleman's court, the soldier was so touched and he did what Henry told them. So he extended them to the mezzanine of the building and they got access to the window. So very early on the next day that was supposed to be their execution, they climbed out of the window for safety and they escaped death. Death. Simply because of a small Bible that Henry moved out with. You could also be saved. The God spent, sent an inspiration spirit, softened his heart, and enabled these young men to go. This soldier was touched. The Bible saved this young man. So, there is a God in heaven. When everything seems lost, and there is not even a glimmer of hope, nothing is impossible for God. Just as John Weldner was freed from certain execution, God can free you this day from any setback that is burdening you. God's word is present and it can always free you. Thank you for listening. May God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we've learned your word can be when there is nothing so impossible. Help us learn to take your word seriously and let it be of our help and guide. I pray trusting and believing your holy name.